welcome to today's video. Today's video is a spring 2022 trends styling video with a twist. If you are new here, my name is Beth, I'm 37. My channel is basically a mix of styling, fashion, a little bit of mum life and some vlogs in there as well. I just like to share with you my tips, everything that I've learned along the way and how I put outfits together. So you know I am all about wearable outfits. So I have got a whole styling video with outfits you can actually wear day to day. So my rail today is looking very colourful. It is usually a very subtle mix of beige and nude and denim. And today we have got some colour. We've got metallics, we've got different prints, materials, textures, we've got cutouts, we've got see-through, we've got sheer, it is all going on. Make, make sure you stay tuned right to the end of the video where I'll be sharing with you my absolute favourite, favourite outfit from the rail. And as always, everything is linked in the description box for you. There's also a sneaky discount code in there for you to use on everything that I'm going to share with you today. For reference, I am 5 foot 4 and a UK size 8, so let's get into the video. Okay, so when I saw Spring Summer Trends for this year, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit scared. And also felt a little bit old. I don't know about anybody else, but there's a lot of trends coming back around from when I was like teenagers. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on at the moment. It was going on when I had a much more youthful body than I have right now. For the average lady, it's a bit daunting. So I thought it is my duty to you all <laughs> to put this video together and show you how you can take little snippets and take little ideas from the trends but actually put them into an outfit that you would genuinely wear and not feel an absolute idiot in. Okay, so let's start with quite an easy trend. One of the big trends for this spring summer is all about girliness and romance and there's a lot of feminine, a lot of ruffles, over the top, girly, gorgeous. So this is a very easy way to bring that feminine girly trend into your wardrobe. This really gorgeous white puff sleeve little wrap over dress is absolutely perfect for spring and summer. It is double lined so it's not see through at all which I really really liked and it's got these gorgeous big puffy ruffled sleeves. It has a gorgeous little tie on the front and then this wrap over with all this ruffling detail. Now I got a size 10 because I wanted it to be loose and kind of not too fitted on me and it actually felt a little bit small so I would definitely say size up. So another thing that we have with these gorgeous girly feminine details is this gorgeous blue top. Now it also has the big puffy sleeves which come right down to your elbows. If you are a little bit like me and you're not, not the biggest fan of your arms, it is the perfect top to hide those bingo wings. And then it also has a nice zip back detail. It's just a very wearable piece to add into your wardrobe and just wear with some jeans and the heels or even just some little denim shorts and some cute flats on a summer's day. I got a size 10 so again I sized up in this. I didn't want it to be too tight across my boobs and it fit me perfectly. So this little dress also is bringing that gorgeous ruffly feminine vibes to the rail this week. Not only does it have this gorgeous like ruffly detailed skirt, it's got this gorgeous floral, girly, romantic print to it with these gorgeous like sheer balloon sleeves. Again, I sized up and got a 10 in this, whereas this one fit really nice. So I would say maybe size up one size if you want it to fit how it did on me. It's got a button down front. So I've shown you a few ways that you could wear this. You could definitely wear this for workwear and do it right up to the top and wear some like little flats or something. Also dress it up and make it look a little bit more sexy undo the buttons, a gorgeous pair of heels, just a really nice glam dress to wear as well. Another trend this year is like netted, see-through, crochet, like vests and knits and things like that. If you're not comfortable showing a lot of flesh, or you don't really want to wear anything that's too see-through. I actually remember this first time round. Do you remember like the knitted vest tops? Like a string vest 
like tank top and a little denim skirt. Girls allowed vibes. We're bringing it back, but this time we're gonna do it a little bit more sophisticated. So I got this gorgeous like crochet knitted jumper and this is actually so lovely. And when I put it on, I thought this is the most gorgeous jumper or top to take on holiday and wear over your bikini on the beach, you know, in the evening when it starts to get a little bit cooler and you want something to throw over. Or you can just team a, a bodysuit or a bra top underneath just to give you a little bit more coverage if you don't want like full on see through vibes. So I actually sized up massively in this. I got a size 14 to 16 because I didn't want it fitted. I wanted it really loose. I wanted it really baggy. Then I also got this absolutely gorgeous knitted t-shirt y jumper y kind of vibe. I got the 14 to 16 in this because I wanted it loose. I didn't want it fitted. It's kind of similar vibes for the like open like netted jumpers. But not only that is it's also bringing another trend in with cut out detail around the back with a bow. Very wearable though. Some of the like cut out detail jumpers and knitwear that I've seen on the high street is all open back which can be a little bit daunting. Whereas this just brings a little trend into the jumper but still makes it really wearable. So talking about cutouts, another trend for this year, which was huge all over the catwalk, is cutout details on everything from tops to dresses to pants. Anything you can possibly think of with a cutout detail, it's a real like Y2K year 2000 vibe. So let's start out off with a very easy way to bring this into your wardrobe with this gorgeous bodysuit. So it has this gorgeous like cutout detail to the front. Not too much though, it's not so much that it's like very cleavagey. I think I'm actually going to wear this a lot. Again, I sized up and got a size 10, I didn't want it too tight. Sometimes like an 8 is far too tight over my boobs. And especially with this cut out detail, I didn't want it to be like bursting out. And it fit me absolutely perfect. I've actually shown you how you can incorporate this into more of a workwear or more smart casual look. But you could also just as easily wear this bodysuit with a pair of joggers and some Birkenstocks on the weekend and it look really, really cute as well. Then if we're going to go a little bit more dressy, I found this absolutely gorgeous cut out dress. It's got this really flattering high neckline and then this cut out detail on the front of the top. It was kind of giving me like geisha girl vibes, you know, with the high neck and then the kind of tight fitted top. And then it's got this like ruched and ruffled detail and it goes into a maxi dress. It's actually so flattering on. Because of the ruching, it covers any lumps and bumps you might want to hide around your top. But then this top section is super, super flattering. So if you've got an event to go to, looking for a glam dress for like an occasion, like a wedding or something, this is a gorgeous dress and the colour is absolutely beautiful. I got my usual size 8 in this and it fit really lovely. So I would just say go for your usual size. I also found this gorgeous like cutout detail blazer, which I thought was a really nice way to bring cutouts. In. If you didn't want to go for anything too skin tight, it's got these gorgeous like cutouts on the middle. It was a little bit too booby for me personally. Like I don't like having loads and loads of cleavage out. So I would think I would actually wear it over like a nice bodycon dress or something and then this just like open underneath so you still get the cut out detail but it's not too like revealing. It does also have like ties so you can tie it at the back if you want it more fitted and you want it to have more shape but personally for me I liked it like loose and open and like a little bit more kind of like thrown on kind of vibes but also the colour is absolutely beautiful, the cutouts are really nice, just for me it was a little bit too booby to wear on its own. Another trend that I absolutely loved this year is pleats. There are pleats on everything from dresses, to tops, to trousers, to skirts, and I am all here for it. I saw this dress and I thought this is the most gorgeous dress. I love a, a white dress for summer, and I just thought this white shirt dress with this pleated skirt detail was absolutely gorgeous. I would wear this really casual with trainers, I'd potentially belt it as well. You could definitely wear this more smart for a workwear outfit, I've shown you how to do that too. Kind of giving me like a tennis dress vibes. I think I got a size 8 in this because there wasn't actually a 10 left. I would have preferred a 10, so it was just looser and a little bit more baggy. It felt a little bit too tight on my top when it was done up. So I'd say maybe size up if you want it a little bit more loose. I also could not resist these 
gorgeous pleated trousers. They are the most amazing pleated detail, silvery wide leg trousers. I wouldn't be able to wear them with trainers. I'm gonna have to get them like taken up slightly. I got my usual size eight and I would say they're actually quite big for an eight. I should have actually sized down and got a size six. They were huge still around my waist but I love them. You could wear these super glam. You could also wear these for workwear. I've shown you some different ways that you could style them up, but I just think they are so gorgeous. And if you're taller than me, these t-shirts and chunky trainers would be the most gorgeous, gorgeous outfit. And then we've also got champagnes and just lots of like pearly, goldy, metallic silvery kind of vibes on so many pieces on the high street and online if it feels a little bit daring you could also go for like the pearly champagne -y kind of jacket that i had in my h&m haul which i will just link just up here so you can go and watch it afterwards if you want to also if it's a little bit of a scary option for you bring it in on your accessories bring it in on your footwear it's very easy to bring some like silver or gold flat shoes into like some really cute spring summer outfits so with the metallic trend in mind i picked up this really beautiful like shacket lightweight spring jacket it's a size 10 it's actually quite big pearly gray silvery material with all the quilted details and it's a nice long line fit i wore it the other day just over some leggings a really like casual gym outfit with this jacket over the top i would 100 percent recommend it i absolutely love this jacket again it's a very easy way just to bring that metallic trend into your wardrobe so another trend that i'm actually very very happy about Mini skirts are absolutely everywhere this year and for me I actually really enjoy wearing a mini skirt. I feel like my legs are my best part of my body so I'm really quite happy to get my legs out. I'm all about this trend. I picked up two new like mini skirts and I've shown you lots of different ways you can wear them from like casual to dressy for a night out to workwear. So let's start with this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous skirt. I think it's the most beautiful skirt that I've ordered in a very, very long time. So not only is it bringing the mini skirt trend again it's got this gorgeous like metallic-y kind of like bronzy colorway to it it's actually so flattering on as well so this section at the front is like a fake wrap over so it looks like a wrap over you feel very covered you don't feel like this is going to suddenly fly up also this bit here is actually so flattering on your tummy and then it just zips up at the back but it's got this gorgeous like floaty fit to it and it's just absolutely beautiful on. I got my usual size 8 and I was really really happy with the way it fit. I also picked up this really gorgeous, it's like a sage green faux leather skirt. I love wearing like a faux leather skirt and mixing it with different textures. So like putting it with a big oversized knit is always a winner for me and again I've shown you so many ways that you can wear this from dressy to for workwear and then also like a really casual way to wear it as well. I love the colour on it and I love the front two slits. I think they're super flattering. Again, I got my normal size eight and it fit really, really nice. That's the moment we've all been dreading. Low rise is back. I'm not happy about it. I'm 37, I've had three babies. I am not in any way, shape or form in the right place to wear anything low waisted. But for the sake of this video, I did it. I tried a skirt on, I pulled it down, super, super low where I used to wear it. I'm not a fan, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it. I don't, unless you are 18 with an amazing body, I think this, this trend doesn't work for anybody. I tried it, you know, I took one for the team girls, but sorry, it's not for me. I mean, it's back. Low waist is back, low waist jeans, low waist skirts, and they looked amazing on the models. But for me, I just can't do it. It's not gonna be going into my wardrobe. The color is like absolutely everywhere. Everything is super bright, super colorful. And one of the biggest trends again for this year is like neon, like highlighter yellow, bright neons, bright colors. So for someone who always wears beige, white and leather and denim, it's a little bit scary, but I found something that I actually like, I would genuinely wear and I was surprised by this. 
and it's like a long sleeve knitted jumper with like a high neck. Have you ever seen anything so bright on my channel? <laughs> I loved it though, do you know what, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely loved it. When I put it on I was like, yeah this is nice, I'm keeping this and I'm gonna wear it, I don't know when. Probably just like a casual, just for like a casual day out, if I'm just going like shopping or something like that. But I absolutely loved it, and a very, very wearable little knit. I got a size medium, it was quite fitted, so I'd definitely say size up. i show you some pieces I found where you can do the whole sheer vibe without having everything on show. Got this really gorgeous, like khaki green shirt. So not only does it have the sheer trend to it, but it also has this like pleated detail as well, which again, we know is a big trend for this year. So this is super long because I really liked this, but they only had this colorway in the tour over a bikini as like a beach cover up on holiday because it's so lightweight and it's got that kind of sheerness to it, but you still feel really comfy in it. Also because it is tall, you could wear it like as a bit of a beach dress like you know to the beach just over your bikini i love the color i've shown you a few different ways you could wear it like more casual and also workwear i also got it in black this is actually not the tall version this is just the regular version and i absolutely love this i've shown you as well a way that you could wear this just over some cycle shorts and some dad sandals even though they're sheer they're not like too see-through they're definitely like a wearable piece one for all the mums out there you're gonna be very very happy to know that big bags are back we have been so like used to all these little mini bags crossbody bags but the big tote is back i'm thinking paris hilton nicole ritchie from the simple life when they had these huge big bags or just big totes big leather bags they're all in so for us mums and for us people that like to carry so much crap around in our bags i've got this really gorgeous like pleated oversized totes this is so cute like i would wear this with this outfit as well like just every day like go and get some jobs done chuck everything in my bag and i thought this was really gorgeous okay i think this is the most scary trend for this year that has made a comeback and again i remember this first time around Underwear as outerwear, which can be a very tricky trend if you don't feel comfortable showing a lot of skin. The best way that we're going to do it is with this gorgeous bralette over a white shirt like I've got on now. I just think it looks really cute, really girly, kind of sexy, but still but bang on trend. I would actually even wear that for like some workwear. If, it, if I worked somewhere that wasn't too too corporate, I think it's definitely something you can incorporate. Also, a nice little bralette under a blazer is always a winner. I actually wore this over a bra top. I've got a really gorgeous nude bra top from H&M and it makes it even more wearable under a blazer. So I hope you've enjoyed this styling video. If you're like mid thirties or older, you can still wear these trends. You can still bring these trends into your wardrobe and make it more wearable. Also, I hope it's shown you that Misguided is not just for like 18 to 25 year olds. I shop on Misguided so, so much. There's so many pieces on there that I just love every time I look online. So everything is linked in the description box for you. Don't forget you can use my code as well if you want to get a huge discount off everything that I've showed you. I love you all girls. Bye.